Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land, please, The Binding of Isaac. After Birth Plus, we're straight up. I've been playing like garbage lately, so if you're going through hell, keep going. We're gonna do some keeper runs here to try to make this work. You know what? Believe in... Why not? Why not give it a try, right? Look at that. We we win. Now we win as a result of this. Uh, T13EEFWK. I, I firmly believe... In my, in my limited experience... You know, I'm not a, a sports psychologist or... God forbid, an esports psychologist or anything like that. Not that I'm looking down on esports, so I'd be a little bit, you know, pot calling the kettle black here. But all I'm saying is, I'm not a sports psychologist. If, you know, your $70 million contract pitcher, you know, he's got the yips, what do you do? I don't know. What I do know, this is a little silly that we've whiffed three times in a row on this, but what I do know. Is that for me personally, it seems like the best option is to uh, keep going. You know, actually, counterintuitively, give yourself a difficult run. And then if you succeed, it'll feel like you got back on the horse, you know? Oh, dude, speed up is extremely good. And then the piercing shots, of course, speak for themselves. But So we're going to do a run as the hardest character in the game. I think that this is pretty much doubtless. Although, hey, don't you think that maybe Judas or Apollyon are the hardest characters? Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, the roasting. Okay, no, those. I mean, I don't think I lost one runs as a Polyon. Maybe the second one. You know, it, it went down too early for us to know. But um, certainly, I'm still like I'm feeling like you shouldn't lose three runs in a row at this point in your Isaac career. So what do you do? Remind yourself that you actually can play pretty well. You know, be the keeper. Win a run all day long, you'll have good fun. That's what they always. Your grandma ever tell you that? Be the keeper, win a run all day long, you'll have good fun. I've thought that for years, dude. And a speed upgrade. You might think that this is disappointing to me. You would be incorrect. I actually think that it is excellent. We need it. I don't really want to worry about getting to five cents before the next floor. It, we could do it without incurring too much risk, as long as we didn't get hit twice on the first room we went to. But. Why invite that sort of evil into our lives for a 50% chance to have a chance to get an arcade? Seems like a bit of a pipe dream. Aquarius is okay. It is going to do an, an adequate job of, uh, you know, hurting some enemies who are trying to take us down. Got to shoot these. Petrified poop provides some value. I also, I always, always, always have to remind myself as the keeper. There's no reason, most of the time, not to go to the shop. So you just, this is like the exact scenario that Better Safe Than Sorry was invented for. Take your time to push that thing over. Don't like fighting enemies on secret rooms? I think we should open it, because we, we don't have anything else to do with uh, our keys. You know, we don't need to use them to get to the shop, as as indicated. We should be using Head of the Keeper, not Head of the Keeper, but uh, Wooden Nickel more often. I see the stopwatch in there. And uh, I'm looking and I'm liking, to quote uh, Ben Stiller from the 2004 classic, Meet the Fockers. If we can get to, it's, it's pretty unlikely, but if we can get to 15 cents, the stopwatch would, well actually, it's not as valuable as I'm giving it credit for right now. Old stopwatch would be amazing. Existing stopwatch, which means, you know, if you get hit once, you get uh, the stopwatch effect. It would be helpful. It's like a nice way to ensure that, you know, we're less likely to get hit a second time after getting hit once. But far from compulsory, I'd say. Maybe we're better off just saving our money. So the deal with the devil, we should be only taking if there's something that can... Ah, uh, so you know it's tough. And it's tough because we could take multi-dimensional baby, at least in theory, and then get HP. But I'm going to choose not to do that for two reasons. One is, if I touch the spikes, I will die. And this run, you know, we're two floors in, I don't think it's disposable anymore. Not on that level, at least. I would I would feel bad if I died on this run, I guess is what I'm saying. Um, Sagittarius is a decent upgrade. Okay, okay, okay. Um, and the other thing is, angel rooms have been uh, buffed, so... I kind of feel like this week I owe it to myself to see if 
that's actually a meaningful difference, or if it's just like something that's more conceptual or, you know, in theory, angel rooms are better, but actually they're still largely fairly bad. I have a feeling they're actually, you know, markedly better, so I'm quite happy about that. Perfect timing to get a key. Thank you very much. And honestly, we've got a good foundation right now. 2020 shouldn't affect our rate of fire, which means that it should be excellent. Because we should be shooting five shots, yeah, instead of three. And I don't know if they're tightly bunched or if they're more tightly bunched than they used to be, but they cover uh, the same spread with more shots, which to me means more damage per uh, per barrage here, for lack of a better word. So I'm happy with that. To be honest with you, a wrath fight when we're low on bombs doesn't bother me too much. We don't want Mr. Boom, but yeah, I appreciate the uh, the offer regardless. So the next big thing for us is, I mean, obviously if we can find a way to get Swallowed Penny, sweet. If we can find, oh, it's just, you know, you kind of nipped me in the bud there, but I was just about to say, like, the shop is, is extremely important. If we can get Nun's Habit or something like that, I'll be a, a very happy camper. I think it's fairly unrealistic for us to not take damage. Um, you know, of course, in a perfect world, that would be awesome. But we don't live in a perfect world as the Keeper. Although the run has been great so far, so I'm not going to complain too hard. So seven cents for five bombs is like, just on its own merits, I think that that's an acceptable deal. Let's take that. Move along here. We could use like four of those bombs if we wanted to try to get that uh, golden chest freed, but I'm going to stay away for now. So, the big thing on this floor now, again, if we're not going to get the Trinket and we're not going to get Nun's Habit, which is very clear, um, at least for the Nun's Habit, what we are uh, best off looking for here is, like, the 9% chance to get a deal, and it's like a 4 and a half. that was really dumb of me, 4.5% chance to get uh, the deal with the Angel. Let's take the pill now. Feels like I'm walking on sunshine. Would have been better off here, but that's fine. It's a good thing about doing a keeper run when it's like not a daily. Then we got like a, you know, 7% chance. No, it's like a 5.75% chance of uh, getting a deal with the angel here as long as we don't get hit. And the hollow is like the perfect boss to get completely shat on by piercing shots. So, you know, we got these vanilla Doritos here. They're doing a good job. I'll take it, but... Mostly it's for shot speed purposes at this point. I'm happy we're still alive, but we need a little bit more. But I'm starting to believe. Don't make me reroll. Well, there's money potential here. Glad we moved at least before we use that. Um, yeah, okay, so Locust of Conquest could be great. Wow, there's big whiffs there. Um, we got enough money to feel okay about it. Now we actually need to pay attention to our keys, but... The idea is, uh, the Locust is guaranteed damage, and I think guaranteed damage once per room on the floor is worth way more than one key, so. I'm all about that, and I apologize if it seems like I'm all business right now. I just, I have had a bad run of form in Isaac lately. Now, you know, you and me, and I'm talking about, you know, the royal you at this point, we've been around the block. We've gone through Isaac ups and downs. You know, many of you were probably here for that, like, 115 streak. Many of you have been here through some terrible play. There's ebbs and flows in, in my Isaac series. Uh, I go through areas of consistency and then inconsistency. We are usually, after a, you know, a week, come back to a certain level of, like, not optimal, but at least decent play. You just gotta kind of ride it. I think it's, you gotta like lean into a slump. I understand a slump. I've slumped at times in my life. I don't think there's any shame in that. All it takes is, you know, bad dice roll combined with bad play. Lowers your self-confidence a little bit and all of a sudden you're like, you know, why? maybe I'm just, I've lost my mojo in this game. And I think that that's, you know, you get into some self-defeating psychology that's, uh, that's unhealthy. What I do is I accept the slump. And then I go, how do we beat this? And I think the way you beat it is by forcing your own hand. 
At least in Isaac. I don't know. I'm not going to... If the Red Sox want to hire me, come and talk to me, Theo Epstein. Epstein? I don't know. I mean, it's not Win Ben Steen's money. I'll give you that. That was not a smart play on my part, especially because we need <laughs> keys to go to the... Everywhere? Um, well, I'm going to have to pick that up. If I... We, we could take damage and then pick it up and get no penny out of it. But feel like we used it properly. Or we could uh, just pick it up and then try not to take damage over the rest of this. Yeah, we need keys. Because we haven't been to our item room and we haven't been to our shop yet. We could always walk back for shop key, but... What about me uh, makes you think that I'm that kind of player? It's a long walk. There we go. One key. First key... I might just use it for the item room. I know we've already... Oh, the second key. Nice dodge, brain. It's like a lot of matrix math to do here to figure out where it's safe to stand, but... That was really good. See, I was worried about coming into the shop and having the shop be, uh... Greed. Thankfully, it's not. Chariot's pretty good. It's a better deal chance. Now we'll go back, and with two keys, we can definitely afford to go to our item room. And the item room is HP up. In theory, we shouldn't have taken this quite yet, because we could get a deal with the devil that gives us something great that costs us HP. We don't want to do that. The, the chance of it being catastrophic is way, way, way too high to justify it. But I'm still banking on this angel chance here. Stigmata, by the way, not the most amazing damage upgrade, but everything helps, especially considering it's like multiplied by five right now because of the uh, number of shots we got coming out of our brain. Raw Mega. It's actually like a tempting use of the Chariot card. But I think you don't have the luxury of using those cards like the way you want to. You have to use them the way you have to. We're going to take this. Mom's Pearls for a luck upgrade. Nun's Habit. Okay. And then please give me keys. He's done it. Go back to the well. Ah! Okay, we're done. And dusted. I don't think we want to fight the Angel Statue. Although that would be very hilarious if we were able to kill... Uh... Mega Satan. I'm gonna just throw that on the back burner. So we got negative one luck. But what we do have now is Nun's Habit. Nun's Habit is like a plus 40% chance to win any given run. So, you can see him on TV any given run day. Win the Keeper run and drive off in a Hyundai. Actually, thank you for bringing it up, but I do drive a Ford Focus. It's not a Hyundai, it's a Ford Focus. Thinking about slapping some sick decals on it, you know? Like one that's just like Isaac's face. And I'll be like, uh, this car's got a speed upgrade. And then, at a stoplight, I'll look at you in the face, and then I'll go... Rear, rear. <laughs> that's... It's not, uh... It's not how that engine sounds. But it is, like, it's a one liter, so it's killing it. You know? I've already taken one hit on this room. Let's take these jokers out. I understand a one liter is not a particularly fast automobile, but I'm not Tracy Chapman. I don't need a fast car. I just need something reliable in the city. And the gas mileage is out of this world. All I need now is a bumper sticker of Calvin from Calvin and Hobbes, like, peeing on another car's logo to justify, you know, or strengthen my feelings of making the correct purchase. I don't know what... Who, who do Ford owners hate? I'm relying on you for this one. It makes me laugh. Like, I grew up in... And this is probably not that specific to my area. But I grew up in a pretty rural area. So even when we were like, you know, 10 years old. That was so stupid. But, we did get a golden bomb. We would have like arguments on the playground. And be like, Chevy's better than Ford. It's like, you've never driven a car before in your life. Nuh-uh. My dad let me pull it into the driveway once, and the power you can feel from that engine is just incredible. You know, we'd, we'd have arguments about it. We had no idea 
what I still to this day don't know, you know, what I'm looking for in a car on a regular basis. I actually like sometimes I research like which restaurant I want to go to for a special occasion more than I research the car that I've actually purchased, you know, with my own money here. I'm not suggesting that that's uh, a good course of action. In fact, quite the opposite. I'm just going back for a little HP here. Because this run is looking a little scary now. Please tell me... Yes. Well worth the key. Um, but really, like, we went in and we're like, eh, let's look at some cars. What are you looking for? I don't know. I would like it to be reliable and not super expensive. And then we test drove, like... The focus, and I was like, This is a car. This feels like it's a car. And then we bought it. Sometimes, you know, I'll be like, mm, You want to go to that restaurant? Oh, I don't know. I'm not really feeling Belgian food tonight. Mm, what kind of. Can you call and inquire as to when their muscles for the mules free to a cot? Are there, like. It's the most yuppie thing I've ever said. Are there personal shoppers for cars? I guess it's like the internet. So, I've, I've made a cardinal mistake. You should never solicit vehicle advice on the internet because you're going to feel very self conscious about your decision making process already. I know, as soon as I bought the Focus, people were like, you should have gotten a Mazda 3. And now every time I see a Mazda 3, I'm like, I should. Oh! I can't get to sleep. Thinking of the implications. Dive it into deep. Okay, 6 GPY DWCQ. We're gonna go for it. I mean, the thing is, how could I not go for it, you know? That run was fine. I played okay. Where did we whiff? Well, I mean, I hate that we got 9 volt uh, nuns have it and still lost. But basically, we got hit by, you know, a shot from a, a random sprinkler, basically. And that cost us the game. So, I do feel like we whiffed on that one, but I don't feel like it's a colossal failure. Uh, you creep shots are okay. You do have to give it up for Unicorn Stump to an extent, but... It doesn't really fit the run right now. Anyway. Yeah, I'm not... Believe it or not, I'm not too bummed about that one. Like... I think it's, uh... Not altogether terrible. Do want to grab all the money that's available here? And this, I was hoping it would be a special shop. It's not a battery baby versus re-rolling your item room. See, these are the kind of interesting questions you find yourself getting into on a uh, on a keeper run. Do you want to take battery baby, or do you want to? Uh... Well, it, we might not be able to do either, so don't get your hopes up too much. But given the choice, do we want to put money into the re-roll machine? Possibly getting something useful for cheaper, or we want Battery Baby, which occasionally might save us the run. Pro unlikely to be that good, but... We need more money first, though, so let's, you know, again, don't get too attached to it. First off, we can use the bomb to get uh, a better chance of getting something from our reroll machine. We could also use the bomb for getting to the secret room and getting enough money to buy Battery Baby. If we use all our money to buy Battery Baby, you know, if we're lucky enough to make that situation come to fruition, we have a serious problem, though, because, you know, we can't get an arcade on the next floor. Do we even want an arcade on the next floor? I don't know. It gives you HP when you walk into it. You could maybe get a free speed upgrade via Blood Bag or something like that. Well, we already just got a free speed upgrade, so, you know, it's like I don't know at this point what, what I'm supposed to do. So this is our secret room. I think we should use our bomb here. I think it gives us more flexibility in our next decision-making process. We got six cents for it. That beats the average. So step two is then you put two cents into this thing. Up to two cents into this thing. You get homing tears. That's amazing. And then we still have enough money to buy a battery, baby. That's NL luck. And you know what? I'm not going to apologize for it. That was pretty sweet. Battery baby still might not be that good. But giving us the occasional charge might pay for itself pretty quickly here. So grab that. Get the heck out of town. How do I feel about uh, homing tears? I'm like exactly neutral on them. But like, well, that's not fair. I'm positive on them, but perhaps like not as positive as I was about a lot of the uh, items we had early on in our last run. But if it helps 
with our ability to aim with triple shot, then I'm all for it. I shouldn't be negative. The homing tears is a great item that I usually want to have. So we have an easy get out of jail free card here that will probably give us a, an undue chance to win this run. We now have uh, the ability to respawn and we'll respawn with double whatever our damage is, although we'll also uh, not have triple shot, I assume. But I'm gonna try to win it as the keeper. If we have to become Dark Judas, then that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna play this deal with the devil, unless it's like a very special circumstance. I'm gonna play this deal with the devil as if it's, uh... Ooh. I'm gonna play this deal with the devil as if it's the keeper and we have no get out of jail free card. Assuming we get the deal with the devil, because if we get hit, we almost certainly will not. Yes. The fire. Yes! And then this fire. No, this way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no, no, no. You almost had it there. You almost tricked me into extinguishing it, you, you so-and-so. There you go. Give me HP and then, like, a one-heart amazing deal. That's what I want. I want damage. I want to kick the crap out of this run. See, like, that doesn't help us, really. <laughs> we could be Dark Judas and uh, make this happen, I guess. Old Bandage, I'm assuming, will drop flies for us when we get hit sometimes might be useful on a on a blood bank sort of situation but I did choose not to go to the shop on the last floor it's probably a bad decision but I'm looking to keep good pace here hematemesis it's actually not that bad we got flies out of it and again like it's the benefit of having the reroll Thank you, battery baby. A little scary. Come on! How many unsuccessful plays are you gonna give me here? Yeah, I, I nearly screwed that up massively. There we go. Perfect timing. We will want to go to this room. Shop, library, who cares? Good, bad, I'm the one with the gun. Uh, we can always blow that up. We don't have any bombs. It's, still, it's, it's the right decision to blow this up. Get a coin back. Almost walked into the fire right after that. We don't need the keys. We don't need the battery charge yet, at least. So this, like, now... AWAS room. Interesting. Interesting. Wow, that was fast. Um, IV bag generates like a ton of flies for us. I hate my life. <laughs> How did that? Are you kidding me, man? IV bag not giving us a coin when we have uh, when we have IV bag. It's a little rude, isn't it? Also, like, I would have, I was considering rolling IV bag long term, but like, I mean, you can see the problem with that. It didn't give us many flies. We're looking for flies because we have uh, old bandage. We have blank card AWAS. Old bandage, by the way, normally gives you red hearts sometimes when you get hit, but it gives us flies as the keeper because the keeper cannot take red hearts. Come on, this is getting a little silly here. Um, just keep moving, just keep moving. So now instead we're gonna, you know, hold this AWAS rune. The idea is that the AWAS rune is kind of a get out of jail free card. But also we could use it to get out of boss rush. Which is better than getting out of jail because we're not in jail in the first place. Although, we are locked into boss rush. Um, I'm not locked in there with them, they're locked in there with me is what I like to say. So, we're gonna just say, mm, no thank you data miner. Said my piece on that item. I think it's borderline zany, um, not borderline terrible. It's genuinely terrible. Ooh, that was a little close. We're in dire need of uh, some damage. Really makes me, uh, you know, long for the conditions of last run, but. Homing Tears do, they make it plausible to do more with the damage we have. So I'm certainly. You know, very four homing tiers right now.
Battery baby. It's kind of a... I don't think I've ever thought of this as a... Keeper synergy, but I can't deny that it's doing decent work. We got a fairly poor deal chance here. Not that I'm suggesting, uh... You know, we deserve a better deal chance. I did take... Some damage on this floor. Got myself into some situations I wasn't super pleased with. I hate to use my last bomb to do that, but honestly, it was the right call. Basically, I got a hamstrung there and I had to take the, the nickel to get out. But again, you could either get hit and ruin your devil deal chance and then pick it up anyway and only get four cents. Or you can pick up five cents on your dodge and just be thankful for having the opportunity to pick up five cents in the first place. So... Now, a cube of meat is a dangerous proposition here, but it's one that I'm happy to have. Let's head downwards. Worst case scenario, we could always use, and this is, you know, we're getting a little late in the game here. Kidney stone. Not really what I wanted, but we could always use... <laughs> little, little on the close side there. Um, a was to skip the womb one or something like it. You know, save us a little bit of time, save us a little bit of hassle, and, uh... Push us in a good direction. So, our triple shot kidney stone is gonna be disgustingly good, as you can see. I, I mean, I'm gonna annoy you with this, but I'm probably gonna use my cube of meat from time to time. Small rock would be lovely here, even with the speed downgrade. I would... I'd be happy to take it in a heartbeat. We didn't get it, obviously, but I'm still talking about it, so... That's how exciting it would be. Dude, we needed that. A tears upgrade is not... In, in terms of its magnitude, is not that meaningful. That hurts. But in terms of its... Uh, I needed that as well. Come on, charge it up. Bit of a whiff. Um... Like, minus two to our tears delay is not that incredible, but... You know what? I'll take it. I'll take a D6 room right here if you want to give me one. Yeah, that's what I thought. You scared or something? Well, now that we've taken a hit, there's still good reasons not to use a cube of meat. But there's less good reasons not to use cube of meat. Especially if we've got anything backing us up. You know what? I don't like dealing with these guys in the corner. Let's just handle it the way nature intended. I almost died there. Um, let that be a lesson. Paralysis pill, dude. Super bummer. Good dodges. Okay. Keys. Bomb. You gotta check this first just in case it's a two of diamonds. It's not. Then you buy this. Sack of sacks. Great item. Great item. We have no more bombs. That's okay. Just keep moving. Sack of sacks can do a lot of work for you. 15 cents allows you to buy another item. You know it's, you know, gonna be possible. Keep exercising your constitutional right to use that cube of meat, preferably without dying in the process, would be... Okay, well, you know, at some point, you gotta take personal responsibility here. Don't jump, don't jump. It's a bad time for you to jump. We've got to get ourselves together and get ourselves stuck in an Isaac slump and we can't get out of it. No, we're going to get out of it. British Bulldog's gonna win, whether he wants to or not. So I've... Now's the time. This is our, like, come to Jesus moment. We should not use our cube of meat anymore. I know 4.20 damage makes you think that the cube of meat is the right play. And if we had 100% efficacy on our dodges... You'd be right. I mean, I'm still using it, like, as I say that I shouldn't use it. So that should tell you something about 
the compelling power of the the cube of meat, which is actually a ball of bandages. But I don't I, like a temperance card at this point. I'm just offended. Shouldn't have picked that up, but I saw 15 cents in my in my sights, and I I took the chance. Let's go. Okay, raw mega, dude, again. Wait for some battery baby charges. You don't really want to be aggro on this guy. Um, with with ball of bandages, at least, like that's potentially. Okay, Dark Judas. I forgot about Dark Judas. Okay, we're back. Let's do this. This is completely fine. I mean, it was a poor play. But raw mega, like, base damage keeper. It's a bit tricky to begin with, right? Now we got some actual fuel for the fire. We got some damage. I mean, it's only seven damage. Rate of fire is good, though. We don't have triple shot, but honestly, triple shot is, uh... It's questionable whether that's actually a positive to begin with. Really wanted some HP, but belly button's fine. We don't really want that. Um, can we get that stuff? No? Okay. Now we can replace our spacebar item. I almost never... Oh, great shot there. I almost never use the uh, wooden nickel as any character but the keeper. That doesn't mean it's bad. And this is our boss rush attempt as well. Honestly, if we manage to win this one as Dark Judas, I'll consider it a... I'll consider it in the win column as well. Perks! Psyga! We need uh, HP. If we get HP, you know, the idea... Oh, we, we definitely would like to have Demon's Tail. The idea is that HP is the uh, be-all end-all right now. Our damage is okay, and, um, you know, we have 100% deal chance, so... It's a pretty uh, likely s scenario that we will improve our damage throughout this run. Um, trying to keep my eyes out for the Invisible Man, but it's not as easy as you might expect. So you leave the battery charge on the ground just in case you manage to grab like a nail or something. Okay, good. Feels like I'm walking on sunshine. Also completely fine. Now we can get out of the mindset as well of like we have to use our uh We have to use the wooden nickel when we like leave or when we enter a room is what I meant to say there. Kidney stone is such a weird item to evaluate. Like, I have no idea how good it is for us. What I do know is that, like, when I manage to get it to work on an enemy, they're dead. You hear me? Maybe we shouldn't have tried to make that dodge work, but... And then we got hit at the very end of all places. What do you got for me? Golden chest. Not that tempting! So how do we die here? That's important to think about. We die if, uh, well, I mean, if we get a nasty room to begin with, we might find ourselves in times of trouble. Um, we die if, we have a better chance of dying if our shop has greed in it. We win if Demon's Tail starts to pay out. I'll take it. You know, I, I like 14 damage. Still waiting on some Demon's Tail payouts. But that's life. You know, half a life. You know, what are, what are the things that are constant in a life? Death and waiting on Demon's Tail payouts. So, our, oh, that was really dumb. But our rate of fire is kind of crushing us right now. Which is expected. I mean, I've done it to myself for, for certain. But uh, you got more for me? No, just the one. I didn't anticipate necessarily how catastrophic Eve's Mascara could be, but we're not... We're not dead. I am very surprised at our seeming... Okay. <laughs> I actually flinched away from the computer when that thing blew up in my face. Um... Surprised by our seeming 
inability to, uh... I, I don't want to get close to this guy, is the thing. Uh, please. Okay, he's shot, he's shot, he's shot. Go, go, go. Our seeming inability to get a single spirit heart out of our situation here. I don't know, with the bad rate of fire, I think we gotta focus on, um... Taking out the detritus, you know? Making sure the flies don't get close enough to get in here. Well, sadly, here are fun. I think the first thing you do is fight the boss. I wish it were not you, though. Kidney stone, end him. End him! Stay dialed in. Wing Commander Freddy Prinz Jr. He's done it. Oh, he's dead. Dude, I am I am in Isaac Hell. But I'm gonna make my way through this. I actually don't think we played super terribly. Spawning with two black hearts on a dank depths XL with not amazing stats. The chance for a loss is in there. Plus, we got a little cute I was killed by this thing in some dark place icon, so I like that. For now, thanks for watching, and thanks for your patience with me as I get good. If you enjoyed the episode, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.